Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So this afternoon we're going to talk about uh, two scale. Okay, we have Akaya lunar scale, and also I have the timer. It's called a uh, a black mirror nano. Okay, it's a timer nano scale. So uh, the timer has two different types of scale. We have a nano, and also they have a black mirror. Plus, so, uh, Black Mirror Plus is a lot larger. So today we're going to focus on the smaller size scale. And uh, by the way, we are comparing apple to orange, by the way. If you guys are curious about it, this is completely apple to orange comparison because the price is huge. So price difference is about 200 and around $30 for this, two or 250 depending on where you guys are getting at. This one, is about 99 bucks it's about 100 bucks so right now i just checked the price on the eight ounce coffee just now hold on a second here uh setting for 227 227.99 i don't know how they come up to their pricing but here let me show you guys okay so let me show you so this is the friends at eight ounce coffee website so this is the original model uh 227 and then they come up with a 2021 model as well. So that one is about 250 bucks. Okay. So that one has, you know, you know a couple more kind of like updated uh, features, but it uh, comes to scale. I mean, original model is just fine to use at home. So again, uh, we are going to, I'm going to compare for you. The, I'm going to share with the things I like about this, uh, this, uh, scare versus something I don't like about the scare. So, you know, say, uh, let's, I'm gonna, again, change the angle for a second. So let's talk about this uh, scale. Okay. Obviously, as you can see from the side by side comparison, Very similar, okay, very similar. And it comes to height wise. So timer is a little bit taller, okay. As you can see from the side view, a little bit taller and then height is about the same. Uh, is The width is about the same there. Okay, so talk about uh, how it's going to, uh, so with the Akaya scale, just press the button. Not, not even button, that's kind of like more like touch screen type. With timer, we have an on and off switch, okay. Now it's on, okay, so display on the top. Timer is kind of like the side view. Let's talk about the accuracy. Uh, very responsive. You know, check, check this out. 150, 115.9 gram. Yep. Very fast. Okay. Very responsive. Both incredibly fast scale. Okay. Again, speed wise, really fast. Comes to if you want a tear function, uh, function, just press one, uh, just touch once, set to the zero. With a lunar scale, uh, no, I'm sorry, not the lunar, the nano. Okay, so one thing I don't like about this scale is the button placement, okay? It's not to the uh, top, it's the side, okay? You have to press, touch it gently, that's it. Again, the button is right there. It's kind of like touch button, but you don't want to force it. You got to just touch very gently. So that's the one thing I don't like about this. I mean, if you go too fast, I'm going to do that one more time. Again, you got to just go touch it. You have to kind of like guess where it's at. But again, you don't have to force it, just go touch it nicely. And the timer, same thing as well. 
just press once start the time if you're gonna, if you're gonna reset it you have to hold it okay compare to uh, Akaya Luna scale just simply touch once if you're gonna start the time touch it stop you're gonna reset it that's all just like that I think comes to the time function I think I uh, is a lot easier on lunar because I like the idea of touching from the top okay instead of uh, of the side again so star stop reset with a nano scale star stop you gotta hold it so, so th this is something you have to get used to once you get used to it I think you're gonna be fine but having the display is a right on the front sometimes it can be uh, it can be very uh, advantage as well from the top so all depend on what you guys like okay they're both water resistant okay they're both water resistant and also Akaya has a different function as well it's called auto tear if I'm gonna auto tear I'm just gonna put the weight on the top auto tear is it so they, uh, they have a, a different uh, function as well you just go through like this but in contrary with the nano you have to press five times and so this is the a so that's one uh, so that is a one full pour over setup should be So this one for the whenever you are doing the pour over and the next function is the ESP okay you're gonna go again five times now right now is ESP for this mode you can actually auto tear it just like that but again uh, I prefer using I know that's something I wish to talk about it because 99% of the time I do not use as the uh, kind of like auto tear function I just simply start the time myself and stop so they're both water resistant Hold on, let me flip the camera here I mean they're both water resistant what else uh, comes to easy of the usability I mean they're I mean both pretty easy to use okay they're both e easy to use but you know what uh you know let me know in the comment section okay it's how many of you actually have this lunar scale all right let me know and uh, if you have it you guys like it is that justify the price okay after pay tax you are looking at 250 bucks compared to nano scale you're looking at around 100 you know I'm you know what hold on I'm very curious about this one I'm I want to find out how much the nano is selling on Amazon okay hold on a second here guys that's great thing about uh, having a computer right next to me okay here we go time on nano scale oh goodness okay even better guys so here we go limited time they are 79 bucks so 80 dollars and the plus you got five percent off top of that so you're gonna save some few more bucks there as well a few more dollars so I mean that's that's not too bad uh, if you guys are curious about it I'm gonna put the link down below for both the nano and uh, uh, Akaya scale okay looking at the three and a half star okay three and a half star hold on I'm curious about why people don't like about this coffee 
scare here. Uh, I've been using it for what last a uh, couple months. I mean, except uh, the button placement. I mean, I mean, it's overall they're pretty decent. Okay, here we got Carlos. Okay, here we got Carlos. So mentioned about the works, but need needs quality control. Okay. Hold on a sec. Can you? But other I mean, just only one. Only one review. So. But uh, let's see. Uh, Mike asked me, <coughs> "Is uh, uh, the skiers are waterproof? It's not a water uh, waterproof. The both skiers are water resistant. Okay." <coughs> You can actually wet the screen. It's not gonna harm, but obviously in the back there, so that is your charging port. All right, so this is not a waterproof, but water resistant. So both, you just got spill on the top, just wipe it clean. That's it, pretty safe. <clears throat> Same as the Nano as well. Again, this is a water resistant, so you don't wanna dunk in the uh, water. You just gonna, if you're gonna, obviously you're gonna spill the coffee on the top, just wipe it clean. Works pretty good. Again, the, so it, this is USB C charging, uh, micro USB. So it's a lot faster to charge as well. But both, once you charge once, last for weeks. Okay, last for weeks and weeks at a time. So <clears throat> they're both pretty good. Okay, comes to it. What else? I mean, like I have a various scale here. Like this one is a ten dollar scale from Amazon. This is not a water resistant or waterproof. So you definitely not, okay, wet it, especially screen. I mean, top is okay. You can just wipe it clean. I damage a lot of uh, coffee scare over the years. So, <clears throat> so this is not as good. So this is the nano, uh, this is a uh, coffee scare from Nomcore. Also water resistant, uh, USB charge. So this one is about, what, $60 on Amazon right now? I mean, overall, this is solid, okay, but here's a big but though, uh, size difference. <clears throat> this is great for uh, pour over, okay, as you can see from difference there. Uh, so these scares fit right into your coffee machine very nicely. <clears throat> you know, let me show you, okay, so here's my coffee machine. So here's the timer scale. I mean, you know, it fits just fine. With Akaya. I mean, again, that works really good. Okay, it comes to uh, placement of coffee scale. Unfortunately, there's, comes to price-wise, there's no between. So this is about 250. Okay, let's say 250. Uh, Amazon selling for around 80 bucks. I mean, if you're looking for close to this quality uh, grinder, uh, close to a Kaya Lunar scale, it's not a whole lot out there, okay? Close to it is about, the Nano is pretty close, okay? It comes to kind of like look and feel of it. But quality, Quality is not as good, okay? I mean, that's the fact, all right? That is the fact. But, man, overall, I wish, okay? I wish some company out there makes a scale that <clears throat> similar quality to this, okay? Similar quality to Akaya Lunar, but I don't need all the auto tear. I just want a simple, just uh, start the time, start the time, or also accurate weight. That's, that's all I'm looking for, all right? If it's a company out there willing to make it, I mean, goodness, EB could be game changer because I mean, most, I mean, 99% of time, I never use the auto tear because I mean, most coffee machines out there, I mean, most coffee machines, like uh, I say about high end, like me to high end, that comes with a scare, uh, comes with a timer anyway. So you don't need that timer. But, ah, uh, boy, I'm, I'm telling you, this uh, Kaya scale, if you have the money, okay, highly recommend it. 
I mean, this is really, really good scale. But at home use, I mean, if you want a like coffee shop, okay, if you want a coffee shop or smart coffee car, I mean, this scale is must. Okay, I highly recommend this. I mean, that's, I mean, that's worth the money. But it comes to home use, I'm talking about home, guys. I mean, at home, unless if you want to, you know, man, you know what? Uh, let me know. Okay, let me know if you have a Kyer scale at home. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it because overall they are fantastic. I mean, uh, Timer Nano. It's not perfect. Okay, let's put it that way. I'm not a big fan of the button placement and also the ESP function, somewhat flaky. But comes to making uh, one another weight and time, okay, works pretty good, all right? Yeah, works pretty good. So, yeah, I mean, if you have Nano, let me know in the comment section as well. Do you like this? I mean, the price is right, okay? Price just dropped down to 79 bucks right now. So 80 bucks, I saw under the 5% off. So yeah, I mean, price is going down. So, yeah, so with that price, might be worth it, okay? Might be worth it there. Plus, if you're getting from Amazon, you got 30 days to play around. So yeah, if you don't like it, just simply return it. But yeah, so timer scale, the Nano, uh, the replacement for uh, Kaya Lunar scale, it's not that far off, okay? I have to say. Uh, so next couple of days, I'm gonna show you guys Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, so this is another scale from Timer. It's called Black Mirror Plus. Okay, I know you, a lot of you have this one at home. All right, so uh, let's do that. I, I'm gonna show you guys next couple of days as well. Let's see what else. Uh, hold on. We have some. We got Dave's on. We got Murphy. You got Mike's on this afternoon. You got BT. You got Peter from Korea. Let's see here. We got Cooker for Coffee's on. You got Steve. Okay, how long will the display remain before it turns up? Okay, uh, with Akaya scale, uh, goes to uh, kind of like they have a dimmer option. Okay, so after a few minutes, go kind of like a little dim. And but with this one, after like a minute or so, it turns up. Okay, so you gotta you, you need to press the button to start back on. So uh, cook up for coffee. Mention. <clears throat> I don't under, I don't understand why spend over hundred dollars for scale. Uh, let's see. That's a great question. Yeah, I mean again, ten dollar scale does the same thing, all right? But this one is, you know, it's not water resistant. The fact is, uh, let's let's see if you really want uh, really want this, you can spend another ten bucks. And get yourself another scale. You know, it could be last year for you know a year or so. It's not too bad. I mean, it works pretty good. All right. But we are buying for. Sometimes you know, coffee gadgets. Do we buying for the aesthetic? The looks good, match with your coffee machine. Whatever reason, okay. Is that worth the money? Okay, comes to you. Is that worth the money spending even fifty dollars on scale? Okay. You can do that for 10 bucks or $15. I think that's kind of like personal thing, I guess. All right. The fact is, I mean, who needs, you know, goodness, who needs $3,000 coffee grinder, right? Who needs it? No one needs $3,000 coffee grinder. <clears throat> I guarantee you, I have a $50 grinder right there sitting, right over there. You grind coffee, okay? It, it grinds coffee just fine. Obviously, you're going to have some, you know, di you know, difference in quality, but doing the job does the grind coffee. Okay, let's see here. Hold on a second. So we have a YOLO. It's on. Uh -uh. You got the waypoint as the timer scale is. Yep. I mean, it comes to budget, the timer. I'm telling you, the timer makes pretty good coffee gear. It's not the best. All right. I mean, if you start uh, searching for best cuff gear, you are, <clears throat> you're going to spend a lot of money. But it comes to good budget, I mean, that is pretty good. 
Oh no, okay. <coughs> Waylon, Wayne asked, uh, mentioned about the. I love getting the silver gram scale, so it look like drug dealer. Okay, so I have a, I have a home. It's called G Dealer. Uh, uh, scale, they're fantastic. Okay. Hold on a second here. Okay, Blu-ray mentioned record of flu flow rate. Flow rate. Okay, so we are talking about flow rate, guys. I mean, you can actually check the flow rate, but you know what? I, I don't know. Okay, I mean, I play with all those kind of, you know, flow rate, uh, looking at the weight, your time for using. Okay, so Akaya scale. I just want a simple scale that tell me a start, start, stop time. Okay, and tell me how much weight. That's all I want in scale. I think this one does great job with just tell you the weight. <clears throat> uh, the norm curl does pretty good job start time, but this is a little too big. Okay, a little too big for uh, coffee machines. This is great for pour over. I think next best thing is the this nano is a perfect uh, right size. Does what you need to do. The price is. Uh, we saw on the 80 bucks there. So you got 80 bucks plus 5% off. So I mean, so this might be the pretty good option. Okay, hold on. So cooker for coffee. What's that? Uh, Fifty dollar. Uh, so that is the grinder from Solace. Okay, they're a budget grinder. Okay, so hold on a second. Is uh, Wayne ask? Do you know those uh, new scale accuracy different? Uh, you know what? I mean, as you saw earlier. They're pretty accurate. I mean, both scales are pretty accurate. 85.5 gram for this. 85.4 gram. 85.5. Hold on. 85.5 gram. 85.4 gram. So you're 0.1 gram, little off. But sometimes you gotta calibrate that as well. But 0.1 gram. I don't know. Okay. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too worried about that. Okay, hold on a second here. Okay, I'm just gonna take a couple. Uh, let's see here. We have some. Uh, when I watch the flow rate from the portal filter using the mirror, color is time to stop. Okay, change the color. Yeah, I, I mean, I have not played with the flow rate yet, but. I mean, usually I just want to know the just time, start and stop time. So, right, the, but the lower weight comes scale 0.1 gram, but more weight change to one gram to two gram. Interesting, Wait, Wayne. You know, I'm very curious about that one. All right, hold on a second. So, th this is pretty heavy right now. I got 514 14 gram here. Okay, with Akaya scale, man, 0.2 gram. This is very interesting. Hopefully you guys can see this. Hold on. 514.1 gram. So this is the lunar. We are talking about 0.2 gram off. Yeah. We are talking about 0.2 gram off there, so. I think Wayne has some, I think Wayne has a, a pretty good point because I'm, you know, it does add up, okay, but again, With a Kaya scale, you can actually calibrate uh, the uh, scale. Uh, whenever you buy a Kaya scale, they give you this uh, 100 gram weight, so you can actually calibrate it. For this one, I'm not quite sure. Okay, I need to find out uh, is ability to calibrate this scale. Anyway, I think we are okay. Hold on. So MS mentioned there is a magnetic uh, magnet under the uh, under the table somewhere. 
under the okay so there's a magnet hold on a second there's a magnet under here I don't think there's a magnet okay because uh, someone's wait there's a magnet under the table somewhere under the, under the table maybe I don't know I'm sure the price difference is more than a makeup for the accuracy yeah Wayne I think you might be right okay but again if you are if you want a like coffee shop I mean this is more for commercial use for Akai Lunar at home again I mean, if you guys like to use nice things, you know, why not go for the lunar? Okay, but if you're conscious about spending money on it, if you don't mind the uh, button on the side, uh, just make sure you gotta be gentle, press the button. I think that's the two complaints I have on this scale. Okay, the uh, button placement and kind of like knowing, you know, you have to press a few times got a couple of buttons there so I mean that's the two complaints I have anyway I think we are look I, th uh, th I think we answered every question you guys have all right I hope you guys are having a great afternoon goodness it's already 5 30 guys okay, it's already 5 30 and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow I'm gonna uh, see you guys sometime tomorrow and then with the bucket has a okay uh, let's see here I go Wayne mentioned about the if you look at the bottom of the black mirror has a accurate accuracy range based on the weight okay okay so I need to check take a look at that as well all right guys I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow so next couple of days let's see I don't know what we're gonna do but uh, definitely we are going to do some comparison okay we're gonna do some comparison on Eureka Minyan zero I have that at home uh, I've been using it for the last couple of weeks. Man, that single dose is really fantastic so far. I'm really enjoying it. And price is right. It's all around $400 range there from Eureka. And they're amazing. And then we're going to do some... Good, uh, you know, let's talk about some more uh, DF64 coming days. And then what else? We got some... Uh, I've been playing with Fellow Stack, Axe Brewer. But a friend of mine, the Mike, that made me this, uh, it's called Smasher, okay, Filter Smasher. And makes it kind of like no bypass uh, brewing system. So it's pretty cool. So I'm going to uh, give you guys a live demo as well. Coming days. And uh, again, so we're going to uh, check out the new timer scale. And I think we are pretty good. And also, we're going to brew some more coffee this week. And that's it. We're going to have some fun. All right, guys. See you guys tomorrow.